Let's go for a spin with this trick and see how you can rotate objects usefully in PowerPoint. Ever use the spin animation in PowerPoint? Maybe not. It's pretty useless. All you can do is get things to spin in a really distracting way. Well, that's not entirely true. If you bring yourself down to PowerPoint's level and think about what it's actually doing. The spin animation rotates an object around its center point. So if you can change the center point, you can get it to spin around whatever you want. Let's take a clock for example. If you want the hands to rotate around the center, you need to make the start of the hand the center point. The way to do this is to draw a shape, a square, a circle for example, centered on the start of the hand. If you use the control key when drawing the shape, you'll make the point at which you click the center point of the shape, and then draw out the shape to make sure that it's larger than anything else. Then make the large shape invisible by selecting no fill and no line, and group it with any objects that need to rotate. Use a spin animation on the group, and the entire group will rotate around the group's center point, which is controlled by the large invisible shape, making it look like other objects are rotating around endpoints. Then go into the options and choose how much you want it to rotate by for fine detail control.